remember thinking in my own mind how good David was. And um, I couldn't tell you what episode that was or what scene it was, but I do recall having, having that thought. I think it was, um, there was a scene that I wasn't in, which was when um, uh, Jillian is talking to uh, William in the, as a corpse. Yes. Or she thinks beautiful. he's a corpse. She thinks he's dead. And so I, I come in at the very tail end of that scene. And as an actor, I wasn't there for, for her work either. So I didn't, I didn't see it until the show aired. So that was really fun for me as, a, as somebody just watching. Because normally I see, you know, I've seen everything she's done. And, you know, I can't be surprised because I may, I may be impressed, but I'm not going to be surprised because I've seen it. So that was, that was, that was a nice surprise for me to say, oh my god, I didn't even, I was like, I, usually I, I saw her, you know, she had this long monologue, I didn't even read it. <laughs> Where's my next line? It's like, oh, day off, day off, day off. <laughs> so it was that. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. Hi, um, I was wondering, out of, out of all the episodes that you've done, is there anyone that really scared you or bothered you when you got done taping it? You know, Donnie fucking faster. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> it's just a performance, Nick, Nick Chenlin, he did a nice job. Well, the whole, it was just creepy. I mean, uh, interestingly, sure there was a lot of similarity from. between that episode and what he did to women uh, that the Spectre did in the fall. But it was, it was, it was very creepy, it was really creepy. Because it was the bathing and the nails and the... Yeah, the bathing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? What? Do you know what I'm referring to? In which? <laughs> Let's move on. Where? <laughs> the, 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 the serial killer bathing the dead women and cleaning them. Do you know what that's what we're talking about? In, uh, in the X-Files. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm with you. <laughs> The only episode you've watched was that last one with the beautiful scene in it, obviously. <laughs> do you reflect a lot back on your no. work, you know, or do you not like it? You know, like, wa you know, watching it in the moment to sort of uh, make changes or, you know, new decisions on your character, or is it something you kind of let go for the while once filming's done and then come back to it later just to enjoy? You mean you're talking specific to the X-Files? Yeah, no, it works in general. I mean, there's, there's plenty of times where I think, oh man, I can't believe I didn't take that into consideration of the scene, or I, for I forgot that I knew that, in, yeah. or, or yeah, that happens yeah. all the time. Yeah, especially, again, with TV, with all the sort of changes happening moment to moment. But also, not only that, but, you know, so often you're, you're shooting completely out of sequence. Yeah. You know, in the last season of The Fault, whereas the first couple seasons, it was pretty chronological in the last season that it was all over the place it was compl and that's six hours yeah. six full hours not a 42 minute hour but six full hours uh you know mixed match so you're doing the first episode or the last episode on the first day and that you know it's hard to you know stay sane through and mm -hmm. and feel like that you're getting the through line right mm -hmm. awesome hey we have time for just a couple more questions guys Hi, my name is Josh, and I am bo I am from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I have parents who really enjoy loving your guys' show, and they really love you guys. So, I have a couple of questions that I thought maybe would be helpful. Um, how well did you think that the show changed you from your real and uh, TV show-wise perspectives? Oh, um, you mean as a person, my perspective on the world or on alien life and that kind of stuff? Yeah, both. Um, I, don't, I don't think it changed my perspective on alien life or, or, any, of this, or any of the paranormal or anything like that. Um, I think that, uh, I think we used to say when we used to talk at things like this that I was more like Scully and I said, no, uh, or you were more like you're more like Mulder, and I'm more like Scully. Correct. <laughs> yeah. um, so I'm not more sure more. that that's changed at all, but uh, yeah, no, I don't think I don't think I've changed my perspective on it. 
Okay, that's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Hi. Um, I just first off want to say that you're both so incredibly talented across all media platforms. Um, but my question for you guys is, what's your favorite role that the other person has portrayed besides Mulder and Scully? <laughs> uh, I would probably say Hank. Yeah. Uh, and I would say the fall. Yeah. <laughs> my one of my favorite is the hand model from Zoolander. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> great cameo. Well, um, we're Did you say great daddy-o? Uh, great cameo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> great great daddy-o. Great daddy-o. <laughs> Swinging. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're out of time, but we thank you so much um, for being here and for um, joining us and answering our questions and everything. So thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck to guys. Give it up, please, one more time for David Duchovny and Julian.